Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another video and this is the part 3 of flashing a ROM onto the OnePlus 60 or any other A or B partition phones. So let's get started. So guys, the part 3 we are going to deal with going from a custom ROM to an Oxygen OS ROM, particularly dealing with OnePlus 60. With part 1, we got to a point where we have a custom ROM from Oxygen OS. Part 2 was going from a custom ROM to another custom ROM without losing data. And now we have part 3 which is going from a custom ROM to an Oxygen OS ROM. Now, Again, we are going to believe a few things. First things first, this is not entirely what I expected uh, this part being. I did not expect it to be like whatever this is now. I wanted the part 3 to be something which is going to be very simple and work similar to part 1 and 2 but I couldn't get a real answer for how to flash Oxygen OS ROM from a custom ROM without losing data. So disclaimer, you are going to lose your internal data if you want to go back to Oxygen OS. So the first and foremost thing you need to do is back up your entire internal data. Whatever you want make a backup of it because it is very important because you will lose it because we are going to click on the format data button and you are going to type yes yes so you will lose data i'm stressing it again make a backup of everything required now if you are someone like me who don't want to copy stuff back and forth every time you can use an application called Sting Thing which I have made a video of how to use it an application which will allow you to make a backup of all your internal data daily automatically without having any issues with it so you won't lose any data that is just throwing out there a link will be in the description so let's get started first of all we are going to assume a few things so you have a OnePlus 60 you have a custom ROM installed which I'm going to assume you had installed it or flashed it by my methods part 1 and 2 you already have team in recovery i'm going to assume 3.3.1-6 this is the unofficial version with the internal storage which is working hopefully that is what you have i'm going to also assume that you have a usb otg drive because when you're going to flash it there will be a point where the internal data will be scrambled and the internal data would not be there you would have to wipe it so you will need a otg drive or an otg cable with a drive to flash magis modules or the rom itself if you don't have that you have an option for having a pc with adb or fastboot enabled so you can flash it through adb so these are the things you will require and your device should be charged to at least 60 percent or 80 percentage i would keep mine 100 percentage because i don't want to have any chances with it now with that out of the way let's get to the files which we required i'll be flashing the 9015 version which is the latest version of oxygen os available it has just been released so so it might not be very obvious to find but it is available from this page which is in the oneplus 60 xda developers page so you will be able to have that you can use it so here is the incremental we don't want the incremental we need the full zip keep that in mind we need the full zip now after a while probably this will be in the uh, original post so you don't have to uh, search through the forums for that but again you just need to download this one you need the oxygen os full zip file not the incremental whichever you want to flash onto your device now apart from that you also need the team win recovery installer zip now why the installer zip because i'm i've already told you guys i'm assuming you already have team win recovery installed if you don't have team win recovery installed you will have to get team win recovery img file installed that and then flash the zip file to make it permanent you can find this here all the links will be in the description below so you don't have to worry about uh, covering the forum for this so you will have to install the zip file that is the installer zip file as i've said 3.3.16 is the one which i use i have been using that for some time now and it works really well and you will need the magisk file so magisk installer is something else which you will need the only reason i use magisk installer is that sometimes there might be issues with the dm variety so it will be solved with magis most probably so i just keep that in mind i use the latest stable version right now it is 19.3 it works really well so you just need to go here the magisk installer 19.3 from here 
get also the uninstaller package just in case. Now we have all the files ready and I've already gotten all my files to my OTG drive which is the dual scratch drive and as you can see I have my OnePlus 60 Oxygen OS ROM zip which is the full zip as you can see it is 1.66 gigs. I have the team win recovery installer package and I have the Magisk package 19.3 zip file and one more thing which I do want to mention is that while you're at it make a team and recovery backup of everything onto this OTG drive because that is going to save you that's not going to affect you in any way so just keep that in mind make the backup if you can so now we have all the files ready the next step is to get to the phone so guys now we have everything ready let's uh, get started with the, the flashing process I have my OTG drive I'm using a 32 gig this is the device I have OnePlus 60 works fine I'm using Havoc as of now so so that is the custom ROM I'm on right now so as you can see I'm on Havoc ROM with uh, 2.7 the latest version whatever it is I want to go to Oxygen OS for whatever reason you have the option now let's reboot into recovery now I will show you guys how to reboot into recovery if you don't know how what the shortcut is just keep pressing the down volume button it should get you into recovery now there you have it now my device is encrypted the only reason is that I have been using Havoc ROM you do have an option to just remove the pin from your device that will make that screen whichever came uh, of asking for a pin not come up so that will be a little bit easier just do that from the next time because it will be easier then so now we are in team in recovery let's get started the first thing is you need to connect your uh, OTG cable let's uh, do that so I have connected the OTG cable now let's get started with how we install stuff what I do is wipe go to advanced wipe wipe everything wipe everything this time because it's not going to be staying there because you will be flat Oxygen OS ROM. So after you have wiped everything, I wipe the cache, system, vendor, and data. I just knew do that. Haven't had any issues with it. I also do a factory reset just for the sake of it. And then we go ahead and uh, select our USB storage. Uh, it's already selected as of now and go and install the Oxygen OS full zip file as you can see it is 9.0.15 I have just relabeled it for making it easier for me so let's uh, flash it this is gonna take some time so now the Oxygen OS 9.0.15 has been flashed the next step is a familiar one we have to flash the team and recovery installer so let's get started with that it will be flashing to both slot A and slot B so that's pretty simple so we now have team in recovery flashed and installed. Next step is to go to reboot menu. Just check the slot, whichever it is now. It is on slot B. Fine. Wouldn't make much of a difference. And click on reboot recovery. Had wiped the system. That is the reason it is showing no OS installed. It's fine. Just reboot it. So now we are back into team in recovery. This is where you really need an OTG cable rather than uh, just uh, anything else because you actually could use it. Next step is to go to installer, select the OTG again and install the Magisk module which is the zip file. I do this again to keep the encrypted data. As you can see we are on slot A. Yes the slot has changed. So just ensure that before you install this just uh, to make sure. And now the Magisk package has also been installed now here is where the change comes if you try to reboot into system it will just go on and just reboot back into team and recovery it will not work what you need to do now is go to wipe and just format data type in yes yes you have to say bye to all that internal storage I hope you guys saved everything you have click on yes it will be formatting the data that's just how it is and uh, well that is it you can just click the reboot system it should boot into Oxygen OS now about formatting the data you can actually do it if you want to try and uh, try your luck uh, maybe it will boot back into Oxygen OS which it will not but if you want to try it you can actually go and uh, whenever it boots back into demon recovery you can just uh, wipe your device data there and that should also work so if you're having a bootloop issue to team in recovery wipe the internal data Data. just click on format data type yes and that should be it for uh, having internal data corrected so now it has rebooted from the boot animation so that means it has been working and you can see the oxygen os boot animation here and it should work now it's it's it so yeah that is pretty much it on how to move from a custom rom to oxygen os rom is it what i anticipated not really i wanted to move from custom rom to oxygen os without wiping the internal data but as of now there doesn't seem to be 
any method for that you will have to wipe internal data you will just have to make a backup of it use my method because i have found it to be very useful by using sync thing or maybe resilio saying hey if you're a rich bastard you can do that too just make a backup of everything every day and just keep a backup of it on a secure storage so that you will never lose your backup data so guys there you have it it has now booted up into genos i will be going through with the setup and just yeah that is pretty much what i wanted to tell you guys how it works for the most part it is a simple procedure but you just have to do everything in the particular manner or else it just doesn't work so that is the only issues with it now we are on oxygen os here's 9.0.15 which is the latest version now and you can rest happy knowing that you are on oxygen os but you will lose all your internal data unless you restore it from your backup i guess that much is it with the guide this time that concludes our how to go from an oxygen os rom and back to oxygen os rom moving through custom roms hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys understood how it is done hopefully it cleared out some some doubt if you have more doubts do let me know in the comment section below so that i may be able to help you i can't guarantee it but i will sure try again i am not really 100 satisfied with this procedure of wiping the internal data as of now that is the only thing which we have i'm looking into other methods where you don't have to lose your internal data if i happen to find one if or if you know how to do it do let me know i will update this video or make a video again showing you how to do that because i would really really like to have that i guess i'm just it about the video then hope you guys like the video please hit subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye